Hey guys, my name is iCrazyTeddy and welcome back to my channel and in today's GTA 5 online glitch tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys an upgraded version of the car duplication after the patch 1.12 This works 100% and I'm going to be showing you guys the best method So just before we do start, let's try and get 3000 likes on this mother freaking video Feel free to smash that like button Also if you are new to my channel, subscribe for more top notch daily GTA 5 content, glitches, tips, tricks, news, info and so much more as you guys can see here, we've got Declan who's always making himself a fool, especially in my videos. I don't know how he manages to put himself in these situations, but I guess it just happens. Also, I just want to say a big thanks to you guys for 180,000 subscribers, it really means a lot. So as you guys can see, firstly what you're going to want to do for this glitch is park a journey or any massive vehicle and you must be the host of the actual session to do this across your garage doors and make sure your garage doors are fully blocked. From there you and your friend must enter your garage and jump into any single car that you want to duplicate. From there go ahead and drive out the car itself, shouldn't take more than a couple seconds and you should be teleported round the corner from your house or your garage. As soon as you guys have been teleported jump out of your whip, your car, whatever and it should say in the top left hand corner your vehicle has been destroyed, you can call Moore's Mutual Insurance to claim. So once you guys do that, go ahead and use your initiative, call up Moore's Mutual and it should say that whichever car that you guys actually did the glitch with, as you guys can see we've got the Roosevelt and I'm obviously going to claim it over here. It cost me about 9,000, that's a fraction of what it actually cost which was 950,000 during the Valentine's Day DLC. From here obviously have your friend, chauffeur, young slave over here such as Declan, who's actually quite getting quite rowdy these days as he's throwing me out the car violently. As you guys will see here, he's going to come out and start swearing, so I'm just going to bust some flipping bullets in his kneecaps. Look at all that blood, teach him not to swear ever again. From here, obviously jump into the duplicated version of your car, and this duplicated one should most likely have a tracker. From here, obviously you guys can have a bit of fun and race back to your apartment itself, and it's really really simple from there. As usual, I'm going to be Declan in the race, because Declan's not a very good driver in GTA Online. Finally took him like 10 minutes to come and look how beat up the car is at the end of all that. From here what you're going to want to do is take the vehicle that you're sitting in and simply just proceed into your garage or garage. And that is basically that. It was really simple and easy. You can take off the first car. You can then go ahead and go back to your friend who should be waiting outside looking over the car or rather sitting in it so it doesn't despawn which is probably the best thing. We got Declan over here with his monkey business trying to show me up in my own video. Little does he know this is the 10th time it doesn't work like that son. It does not work like that. He's being dragged along by my car's door from there. I've Obviously just gonna molest him with the car, just crush him whatever, just crush, crack his skull and from here he's been turned into mincemeat by my car's tyres, epic dollar sign tyres. As you guys could see he was getting crushed and from there you just simply want to drive your car back into your garage and you don't really need to do any insurance glitch or anything, it's really simple and really easy like I said if this did help you out in any way shape or form, if you did duplicate this car then feel free to leave a thumbs up on this video, this does work 100% every time for whatever reason if it doesn't work go ahead and start everything again and try all over again like I said it works 100% of the time it's really really good and really easy Finally guys, just before I go, I'd just like to announce a little giveaway that I am actually uh, hosting over the next couple of days. I started it about two days ago. Basically, I'm going to be giving away some Xbox Live slash PSN cards. Really simple and really easy for you guys to enter and have pot potentially basically have a chance to win some of these prizes, earn shark cards, maybe even PayPal money, whatever. All you need to do is drop a like on this video. Once you guys have done that, add this video to favourites. From there, go ahead and go to the link in the description. Follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my second channel and lastly leave your twitter id in the comment section below anyway my name is iCrazyTeddy let's try and push for something well over 3000 likes on this video and subscribe if this video helped you for more top notch daily GTA 5 content my name is iCrazyTeddy and I'll see you guys when I see you guys peace out